Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will use normally open contacts and normally close contacts. We will also implement some logic gates like AND, OR, etc. So let's start. Example 3. We have three switches and three LEDs. If any one switch is on, that is only one, then LED1 will be on. If any two switches are on, then LED2 will be on. If all the three switches are on, then LED3 will be on. So, we are having three switches, switch 1, switch 2, and switch 3. And we are having three LEDs, LED1, LED2, and LED3. If any one switch is on, that is, if only switch 1 is on, or if only switch 2 is on, or if switch 3 is on, then LED1 will be on. If any two switches are on, that is, if switch 1 and switch 2 are on, or if switch 2 and switch 3 are on, or if switch 1 and switch 3 are on, then LED2 will be on. And if all the switches are on, switch 1, switch 2, and switch 3 all are on, then LED3 will be on. So for this example, we will use normally open contacts as well as normally closed contacts. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. So this is the interface of TI portal. So I will click on this and then I will go to PLC tags and default tag table. So here I will add inputs. The first one is switch one. Then I have switch 2 and switch 3 for that I will click on hit and drag it to here and switch 2 and switch 3 are automatically fetched. And then I need to add outputs that is LED1, LED2 and LED3. So for the first one I will write as LED1 and I will change the address to Q0.1. Q0.0 and then I need to add LED2 and LED3 for that I will drag it to here. And automatically LED2 and LED3 are fetched. <coughs> After that, I need to draw the ladder diagram. For that, I will minimize the PLC tag table and then I will go to program blocks and then main OB. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram. So first of all, I will insert normally open contact and then here an open branch. Then normally open contact and one more open branch and then normally open contact. For this I will select switch 1. Then for the second normally open contact I will use switch 2 and then for third normally open contact I will uh, insert it as switch 3. And then I will insert a coil here and that coil will be for LED1. So LED1 will be on if only one switch is on. If switch 1 is on, LED1 will be on but switch 2 and switch 3 should be off. For that I will use normally close contacts and if this normally close contact will be switch 2. I can also zoom in like this. So for the, uh, this normally closed contact, it will be for switch 3. And then here, I will insert normally two normally closed contacts. And if switch 2 is on, then switch 1 and switch 3 should be off. So for switch 1 and switch 3, I will use normally closed contacts. And then I will close the branch like this. And then here, if switch 3 is on, then switch 1 and switch 2 should be on. So for that, I will insert normally close contacts, two normally close contacts for switch 1 and it will be for switch 2. Switch 2. And then I will close a branch here. So here, if switch 1 is on and switch 2 and switch 3 are off, then LED 1 will be on. Or if switch 2 is on and switch 1 and switch 3 are off, then also LED 1 will be on. 
and if switch 3 only is on and if switch 1 and switch 2 are off then also LED 1 will be on. That means if only one switch is on and the rest two are off then only LED 1 will be on. And then for LED 2 there should be two normally open contacts exactly two inputs should be on. Either switch 1 and switch 2 should be on or switch 2 and switch 3 should be on or switch 1 and switch 2 should be on. So I will use two normally open contacts, one normally closed contacts. And then here I will uh, open the branch. Then also here I will use two normally open contacts and one normally closed contact. And then also here open branch, then normally open contact and one normally closed contact. And then I will close a branch. Here like this and then here I will insert a coil for LED2. So for the normally open contacts I will use switch 1 and then switch 2 and for normally close contact if switch 1 and switch 2 are on and switch 3 should be off. For that I will use normally close contacts and then only the LED2 LED2 will be on or Switch 2 and switch 3 are on, switch 2 and switch 3 are on <coughs> and switch 1 should be off. So for normally close contact it will be switch 1. And then for here switch 3 and switch 1. Switch 1 and switch 3 when these two switches are on, switch 1 and switch 3 and switch 2 should be off switch 3 should be off then only LED 2 will be on. So if switch 1 and switch 2 are on and switch 3 should be off then only LED 2 will be on or if switch 2 and switch 3 are on and LED uh, sorry switch 2 and switch 3 are on and switch 1 is off then LED 2 will be on or if switch 1 and switch 3 are on and sorry here it will be switch 2 and switch 2 will be off then only LED 2 will be on and then for LED 3 all the three switches should be on so I will insert three normally open contacts for switch 1 switch 2 and switch 3 and a coil for LED 3 so the normally open contact first one will be for switch 1 then it will be for uh, switch 2 and the third one will be for switch 3 switch 3 and this coil will be for LED 3. So as you can see here, if only switch 1 is on, switch 1 or switch 2 and switch 3 or switch 3, if either of the switches is on and the rest 2 are off, then LED 1 will be on. And then if uh, two switches are on and the third one is off, then LED 2 will be on. And if all the three switches are on, then LED 3 will be on. LED 3 will be on. So now let's do the simulation. So I will download the program or simply start simulation. Okay. Let's wait for it. Process it. It's compiling the configuration. Then load. And then I will click on finish. And then I need to start the CPU here. Okay. And then go online. And then I will click on this option to monitoring on or off. And then I will click on this to switch to a project view where we can do the simulation where we will turn on switch 1, switch 2 and all these things. So let's create a new project here. Create.
then I will go to simulation table and then simulation table 1 and then I will right click here and then load project tax. So switch 1, switch 2 and switch 3 are here. So here, if switch 1 is turned on, as you can see here, when switch 1 is turned on, LED 1 gets true. And then, if only switch 2 is turned on, then also LED 1 will turn on. Or, if only Switch, three, are to, uh, switch uh, 3 is turned on, then also LED 1 becomes true. And when I turn on switch 3, switch 2 and switch 1 should be off. And when I turn on switch 2, switch 3 and switch 1 should be off. Or when I turn on switch 1, switch 2 and switch 3 should be off. Then only LED 1 will turn on. Or if I turn on switch 1 and switch 2 both, then LED 1 will be off. But what happens? The hap uh, what happens? So LED 2 becomes on. As you can see here, when I turn on switch 1 and switch 2 and switch 3 is off, then LED 2 becomes on. Or if I turn on switch 2 and switch 3, then also LED 2 becomes on. And if I turn on switch 1 and switch 3, then also LED 2 will be on. When I turn on switch 1 and switch 3, the third switch, switch 2 is off, then only LED 2 becomes on. And then when I turn on all the three switches, LED 1 is off, LED 2 is off, but LED 3 is on. So when switch uh, only one switch is turned on, LED 1 becomes on, LED 1 becomes on, and when I turn on two switches, any two switches, any two switches, then LED 1 becomes off, but LED 2 becomes on. And then when I turn on all the three switches, then LED 1 becomes on, LED 2 becomes off, sorry, LED 1 becomes off, LED 2 becomes off, but LED 3 turns on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.